Previously, we considered the example to find a ring. So we were given this matrix, we found its row echelon form, and we see here there are two pivots, so that is why the rank of this matrix A is equal to the 2. At the same time, rank tells us which of the columns are independent and which of the columns are dependent. So let's define what does it mean that the columns are dependent and independent. So when we're dealing with the two vectors, v1 and v2, so we say that they are independent if it is not possible to obtain the second vector as a combination of the first one. So they basically, so there is no such a constant k so that if you multiply this to the second vector, you can obtain the first one, or there is no such a constant k um, so that you multiply the first vector to this k and you obtain the second one. So basically you cannot get the second vector as a combination of the first one. So these two vectors are independent so the dependent vector would be in this form so the v1 is like this and v2 it's going to be on the same line right and there exists to find such a constant k so that if you multiply the k to the v1 you can obtain the v2 basically you can just do this by scaling the v1 vector by just changing its lengths in general if you have three vectors for example v1 v2 and v3 we say that they are independent if it is not possible to obtain one of the vectors as a combination of the others. Basically, if you can write the v3 as a combination of the v1 and v2, basically you multiply the v1 to some constant and v2 to another constant. And if it is possible to obtain this v3, it means that this two three vectors are dependent or basically the third vector is dependent on the first two right if it is not possible then they are called independent so it is really important for us to depend to define which of the columns of the matrix are dependent or independent because it helps us to construct some of the spaces of the matrices and it appears the pivots or the positions of the pivots are going to tell us which of the columns of the matrix are independent so the columns where we have the pivots they are called the pivot columns and, and correspondingly, the first and the second columns of the matrix A are going to be independent columns of this matrix A. So basically, matrix A has four columns, but only two of them are independent. Right? So basically, it means that I can obtain the third column or the last column as the combination of the first two columns. So basically, we can obtain the third column 2, 2, 2, by just multiplying some constant to the first column, 1, 1, 1, plus by just multiplying the another constant to the second column, which is 1, 2, 3. So which two constants I have to multiply these two vectors in order to get this one? So it should be 2 and 0. If you multiply the first column to the 2 and the second column to the 0, right, some constant multiplied to the first one, some constant multiplied to the second one, you can obtain exactly the third vector. It means that the third vector depends on the first two. At the same time, it is possible to obtain the last column, which is equal to the 4, 5, and 6, as a combination of the first two columns again. So if I write down 1, 1, 1, and 1, 2, 3, it is possible to obtain this vector by multiplying the first vector to the 3 and the second vector to the 1 and add them. So if you multiply the first vector to the 3, you obtain 3, 3, 3. And if you multiply the second vector to the 1, you will obtain 1, 2, 3. If you add this, you will get exactly 4, 5, 6. It means, again, we obtain 1 vectors as a combination of the other 2 vectors. It means that the this vector depends on the first two. And these two vectors are going to be independent. And we, when we are going to construct the column space of the matrix A, we are just going to use the independent vector. So the column space of the matrix A is going to be simply the linear combination or the spin of just the independent columns. Okay, and the rank and, and also the pivot positions are going to tell us where all the independent columns of the matrix are. 
So it's really important situation when your matrix has the full column rank. So there are two possibilities. So yeah, the, here is a matrix A, and it has the columns 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 4, 0, 0, 1. It means that it has full column rank. The, the matrix has a full column rank if all its columns have the pivots. Here is a pivot, here is a pivot, and here is a pivot. The rank of the matrix A is equal to the 3, which is the same as the number of columns. In this case, we call this matrix as a full column rank. But it is possible that your matrix is in the rectangular form 1, 2, 3, 5, 2, 4, and it appears this matrix is also full column rank. So in order to do this, we need to bring this matrix C to the row echelon form. So let, let us do this. 1, 2, 3, 5, 2, 4. So we bring this to the row echelon form by choosing this one as a pivot and by eliminating all the entries below this. So we multiply the first row to the minus 3 and add this to the second. We multiply the first row to the minus 2 and add this to the third one. And if we do this, we're going to obtain the matrix 1, 2, 0, minus 1, 0, and 0. Or if you just multiply the second row to the minus 1, we can obtain 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is also the situation when the matrix has full column rank. So the rank of this matrix C is equal to the 2, which is the same as the number of columns. So basically it means that the matrix, matrix, so the columns of the matrix are, are independent. And when we're talking about the system of linear equations, basically Cx is equal to the B, it means that the system has either one solution, if B is from the column space of this matrix A, and zero solutions, or no solution, if B is not from the column space of the A. Basically, in our case, the C matrix is given as 1, 2, 3, 5, 2, 4, and the column space of this matrix C, actually, so let me call this as A. And the column space of this matrix A is going to be the spin of these two vectors 1, 3, 2, 2, 5, 4. Spin means all possible linear combinations of these two vectors. Basically, the column space of the A is some vector from the column space can be written as the 1, 3, 2 multiplied to some parameter T1 plus 2, 5, 4 multiplied to another constant, right? All possible linear combinations for any value of the t1 and t2 from the real numbers is going to be a vector from the column space of this matrix. So in general, we can write, so we can write down the equation of the plane like this, right? So if you, if you choose the values for the t1 and t2 and get the vectors, they're all going to be from one plane. So actually, the column space of this matrix is the plane. And when we would like to solve the equation Ax is equal to the B, basically when you multiply the Ax, it gives you one combination of the columns of this matrix, right? And I'm asking you, which combination is going to give me this B? So basically here is a B, and you've got these two columns of this matrix, the column 1 and column 2. I'm asking you, hey, how I need to scale the C1 and C2 so that this is going to be exactly to be equal to this B? And this scaling coefficient is actually the x. So when we need to solve the system of linear equations ax is equal to the b, we need to find the coefficients how to scale the first two columns of the or the two columns of the matrix A. So if this b is in this plane, then we can find this combination, and this combination is going to be unique. You can reach this b in only one case. But if this b vector on the right hand side part is out of this plane here, no combination of these two vectors is going to give you this vector b, basically. So all possible linear combinations of these two columns, this one and this one, are always going to be uh, on this plane. And no combination of these two vectors is going to be out of this plane. 
right? So that is why this is the case. So if the matrix has the full column rank, and if the matrix is rectangular, then it might have zero solution is this B out of the column space, or one solution if this B is on this plane or from the column space.